So I'm often asked what's in my bag. And let me say this before I start this conversation. What's in your bag should reflect the assignment in which you're shooting. I'm getting ready to go to Phoenix, Arizona to shoot at the Fellowship for Affirming Ministries conference. And I'm primarily getting B-roll, maybe some interviews of persons who are featured in the documentary I'm shooting here in Atlanta entitled Seeing the Future of the African American Church in the Rainbow. This is my story, this is my song. So first off, I'm packing for the shooting assignment. Let me preface it with that. So let me, and so, and also when I get ready to travel, what I do is I lay my gear out like this to make sure I can see everything and touch it. And I have a list where I check off to make sure I don't forget anything when I'm traveling. So I lay it out on the floor, make sure I can see it all and touch it all and see this there. So let's start first with the photography. I'm doing both um, photos and video. So we'll start with the photo gear first. So um, I'm shooting with the Fuji X-T3. And I'm only taking one body. Normally I shoot with two bodies, but because of traveling, I kind of cut it down since I'm shooting with one body. I take one body, of course, extra batteries and charger. I take three lenses, basically a 24 to 70, I mean a 70 to 200 and a 24 to 70 F2.8. These are equivalents, of course. And I take this because there's gonna be a run and gun shoot. I like to shoot with the prime lenses, but I don't want to be distracting in this space, so I need to move. It'll be a space that will be um, ever-changing and evolving, so therefore I'm shooting with these zooms. I do take one additional lens, which is this 56 or 85 equivalent f1.2. So I take this 85 um, 1.2 because I might get a chance to do some portraits, and this is a great portrait lens, and I love this lens. All these lens have filters on them, um, ND filters that I can adjust those as well. Take one flash, on camera flash, Godox on camera flash, um, with the Gary Fong, because it may be a place where I get some portraits, and, um, but I'll probably primarily be shooting available light, but I take the lens, the, the flash, just in case I get a chance to do some portraits. I take my DJI Mini. Um, I know I want to get some establishing shots of the outside with the controller and the charge, etc. I know I want to get some establishing shots of, of the outside of the venue, and with that DJI Mini, I could probably, if I choose to use it inside, I want to get some, some high interesting shots for the video. Um, I take my Osmo Action and Osmo Pocket. I keep my Osmo Pocket in my pocket, literally. I'm not taking a larger gimbal. I use this for gimbal shots, um, even some of my own. If I decide to vlog or catch someone in the hallway. And I use the Action as a um, kind of a B-roll camera. I like to sit on podiums and get unique shots. And so I bring these two um, uh, uh, mounts that I use to put the camera on. Also, I use it for some of my audio. So that's what I have on this side for the photo and then my DJI stuff. Then I'm shooting with the C70. So let me get, because we have the C70 here um, in a cage, in a tilted cage, because what I do is I put the, the uh, handle on the top and then I use a small rig piece and put it on the side so I can run and gun with that. I use the OSE seven inch monitor to go on top of my um, video piece to get some good, good footage. And I, I like to use the monitor so that I can see, right? So that I can see well. So I use that rig. Once again, I'm, I'm, I'm running the gunny, right? So monitor on top. I use the Rode uh, shotgun mic, but I also take my Rode lapel mics just in case I can put those on somebody and kind of um, do an interview or even there's a speaker where I can uh, uh, mic the speaker I use it there. Three lenses on the other side to show you the lenses. The lenses I use um, 300, 28, because I'm telling you something about documentary work in video. Detail, 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 detail. And I use this to get up close without being a distraction or getting in the way. Um, then a 100, uh, 1.2. Once again, detail, 50, my favorite lens, 1.2. And then the Sigma 18 to 35. And this 18 to 35 is because once again, this is a running gun situation. So I may use this most of the time I'm using that 100 and 300 for detail, but this will be on my on my camera most of the time. Once again, I prefer primes, but in this context, zooms are going to probably work better because I'm running and gunning, right? And this works well. And then I have my uh, zoom H5, and I use this um, because people like, people like speakers and things like that. I like to have audio 
constantly running in the room. So I get that audio, right? I have audio constantly running in the room. So when I'm taking different shots and my camera starting to stop on audio is, is always, it's always running. Um, I use the DTAP battery because I like to, because I can take this DTAP battery and take power out of the DTAP battery and run it to my monitor. So I'm only worried about one battery. And this battery will hold me most of the day. Headphones for the, for my camera. Cause you always want to make sure you're listening to the audio, right? couple things. One is this monopod that I love. This monopod, I have used it for every documentary I've made. It's been all over the world. It's been the continent of Africa, it's been uh, in Israel, etc. Then I bring in these two Godox lights and I use these in case I get an interview and want to light something. They're very flexible lights, very easy to travel with. And I can use those mounts I use for my camera and my zoom to put these on. Have some filters for my um, for my uh, Osmo Action. Then of course, business cards, and I like to keep notes when I'm writing and pay for headphones to travel with. Uh, music to edit by, I use this little speaker. Love this um, Harman Kardon speaker. I play it when I'm editing at night. Glasses, tons of business cards, cleaners and wipes for my lenses, all my power cables. And I lay it all out so that I can see it and um, get the work done. Hope this has been helpful. That's what's in my bag. I'm Dr. Rob, I say why, because I off the camera. I'm out.